going to get your ticket and passport, please. And you're going on from Amsterdam over to uh, Nairobi. Africa, an ocean away where Rift Valley fever has struck several regions of Kenya. Dr. Summer Powell Callan from the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston left for Africa a week ago. He took with him supplies and a vital connection that links him to Galveston. And what we'll be doing is taking a satellite box that has the telemedicine equipment as well as a satellite link up out to this remote hospital and set it up with their power source there aim it back to a satellite over the Atlantic Ocean and beam it back to Galveston. It's the first time anyone here can recall a telemedicine link-up of this sort, a connection from Masalani Hospital in remote northeastern Kenya with scientists and doctors in Galveston, Texas. Well, currently there's an outbreak of Rift Valley fever in Kenya and at UTMB we have several virologic specialists that specialize in these sorts of rare diseases which generally you find only in tropical Africa. So it's a natural link between UTMB and this particular project, given UTMB's expertise in both telemedicine and tropical medicine and infectious diseases. UTMB's telemedicine connection puts experts in infectious and tropical diseases in touch with the Kenyans hardest hit by Rift Valley fever. Hello, Sarat. There's a patient here in Masalani Hospital who is a suspected case of Rift Valley fever. This patient lives in a nearby village. Dr. Callan is with him there and connected via telemedicine to Galveston. As the camera zeroes in on the Kenyan patient, the conversation between UTMB doctors immediately turns to a rundown of his symptoms and what to do to make him feel more comfortable. He's a 50-year-old man who came in on the 20th with fevers and chills since the 16th. He reported on the same day arthralgias in his large joints and his knees and elbows, as well as a severe, throbbing, diffuse headache. We were able to talk with the local physician and be sure that they had instituted the proper public health measures, and he had some questions for us about what he should be doing in his hospital to protect the hospital staff that we were able to answer for him. There's no cure for Rift Valley fever. That's one of the reasons this link-up is pivotal. It gives doctors a chance to see, real time, what's happening in a corner of the world with limited access to technology and medical care. At UTMB, doctors hope to discover key information about the virus and how to fight it. Some will take samples which will be brought back and tested here to, to be sure what disease the patient actually has and we'll be looking forward to getting some of the samples from that epidemic and analyzing the virus that's causing that epidemic. We learned a lot today. Uh, we were able to see the patient, examine the patient, listen to his heart, uh, and we got a lot of great ideas and a lot of great feedback from the infectious disease specialists here at UTMB on how we can improve these systems for the future. In Galveston, Giselle Torres for the University of Texas Medical Branch.